update on the renovation house in a while. Going to head up there. Post lights ready to go, except for one piece of glass I need to put in yet. Not doing that today because it's raining, but I've got this new uh, DJI Osmo action camera and I want to do some testing with it. The utility company is supposed to show up today. we we'll change over the service. Even though it is raining, we'll see how that pans out, but going to head up there. I'm Roger and not in the shop, but uh, at the renovation house and I'm actually playing with a camera I just got. It's a uh, DJ Osmo, DJI Osmo Action. There we go. And I intended to originally do the test outside and yes, this is waterproof, but it's raining and I don't want to get all wet. So I'll give you a little bit of an update here on uh, what we have in the going on with the renovation house. The granddaughter and her family are moving in and trying to get organized and if you've ever done the move thing you know how much of a mess that can be so a little bit of a mess here i'm going to give you a little bit of a tour here coming up okay of course it like as i mentioned earlier if you've ever just moved in you know how hard it is to get things organized but what you haven't seen is a countertop so we have a countertop here and if you remember if you watched any of the earlier videos when i made sure that this wall was straight that was so i wouldn't have to do any scribing on the back and with it being nice and straight I didn't have to do any messing around just did a little caulk seal on there when I was done so everything there worked out perfect got the sink here of course this is not a better homes and gardens video so you're gonna see some dishes and stuff and things are a little bit of a mess and we got all the knobs on the cabinets got the dishwasher in everything's functional never mind the beard that's on the table that would be mine Everybody needs a little barley pop. Of course, as I said, still trying to get organized here. Bathroom, finally got the medicine cabinet. Got that in here. And that's working out well. Let's see, we got the shower, toilet, then a little toilet topper. I still need a little bit of trim work in there, but I need to set up the miter station. I need to do that outdoors, and it's raining, so can't do that today. Moving on in here to the dining room. Of course, once again, I said they're moving in, so everything's kind of a helter-skelter thing, but it has turned out very well. And yesterday, or the day before yesterday, get a little light going on in here. This is the great-granddaughter's bedroom. We got carpet in here now. No, I do not like carpet. I have that done. I have no desire whatsoever to be a carpet layer. Oh, got the new door on here, and great-granddaughter a little bed over there in the corner and a real neat purple walls with purple curtains but it's a little girl then we'll move over here in the living room and yes I finally got a thermostat on the wall after all this time we just having two wires hanging out of there for I get that done uh, they've got their TV mounted up here and still got some trim work to do got some finish work to do and still trying to get organized, but it's coming along. We've got a lot of finish work to do around that front door, and I still have the front porch to work on. I uh, also have carpet in the master bedroom here. And that's all done and up. A little shelf thing I made uh, to replace those uh, glass doors that were there. So this turned out real nice. So this is what we have now instead of those... Uh, glass doors that were on the bedroom before so I think this turned out pretty good okay so here I am in the laundry room and of course we got totes piled up because like I said they're moving in and if I can get turned around over here it's kind of a small room there are some cabinets that are going to get put on that wall and my intent was to build them a couple of 30 by 30 cabinets and I went and priced plywood uh, yesterday it's a hundred dollars a sheet so do I want to uh, go through all the work of building my own cabinet when plywood's a hundred dollars a sheet or I can go buy unfinished cabinets for eighty seven dollars a piece and just paint them white so maybe going that route however on this other wall that's above the washer and dryer over here I have to build a couple of uh, custom cabinets to go around where that beam protrudes up there and those I'll need to make and I'm also going to make them 16 inches deep uh, to be able to reach out past the front of the washer so you can access them easy but 
that's a little update on the laundry room. So the purpose of me be actually being out here today, and of course this was scheduled ahead, we didn't know it was going to be raining like this, was to get to see electric service changed over on the outside by the utility company. And because of the rain they have canceled, now I have to be rescheduling this for tomorrow, and I'll be able to get rid of this old panel over here. So I've still got this old uh, panel over here, and it's got a little temporary feed over to the new panel. Once the utility company gets that swapped over tomorrow, I'll be taking out this old panel here and putting the cover and everything on the new panel. And the last thing we have to do electrically here, aside from my post light out front, which is a whole subject for another video, but I need to wire the garage. We need to get a proper feed out there and some, do some digging and trenching, and with it being this wet, yeah, that may be a little bit. But these get done. That'll be subject of yet another video as we continue with the saga on this renovation house. And then after that will be the siding. Of course the lighting out here is horrible, but I'll kind of give you an idea. We have, uh, there is an outlet behind this battery adapter here. It is not ground fault. It needs to be. This box is not mounted properly in the wall. Uh, this switch goes to a light, which I'll get into in a minute. Then we have another switch that I think is supposed to go to the outside security light, but it doesn't work. So we have a keypad for a garage door opener, but there's some details about that garage door opener. So as you can see, I've been into this and messed with it a little bit, and it, it doesn't work. The motor's burned up in it, and uh, it's made by Linear. Never heard of that one. Can't find any kind of information about it. Garage door openers are not that expensive. One thing uh, it also has is, you go over here, and it's got a cord hanging down, and there's absolutely no place up there to plug it in. I don't know what they had done in the past. Uh, there is some wire. Actually, it's not even wire. It's rope light that runs along that wall. It doesn't work. So that'll get taken down. The only light we have in this garage, you get swung around here, is that little guy up there. And that's one of them uh, LED things you can screw in. So we're going to put some uh, regular lighting in here. I've got some uh, fluorescent fixtures that came out of a school that I'm going to be using. We'll pop mount probably four of them in here and I'll convert them to LED like I did in the shop. And then we'll need to put some outlets around in here, here and there. Of course, got some windows to replace. And I've got some of my tools in here, of course. One of the problems we have is when it rains real heavy, if you see that there's the floor is a little wet here, is water runs in the door. And I'll show you why that is. Okay, I'm actually outside and it quit raining for a couple minutes, so still got a big pile of dirt I gotta move from when we uncovered this driveway. Um, got some saw horses out here, and this is where I set up my miter station for the work we're doing in there. So on the, if you look here at the overhead garage door, you see that the driveway slopes towards it and there's absolutely nothing I can do about that it's just the way it's going to have to be uh, at some point if they ever decide to replace this driveway because it is broke up quite a bit but at least it's not the grass and mud that it was before that's an unusual thing where you pull in and then you can pull up here to this little spot and then you can work your way around and drive into the garage. But right now there's too much stuff in there to do any of that kind of stuff. And that security light that I mentioned, that's that guy up there, that'll get changed. Uh, probably when we reside this garage, which is coming up yet this summer. Need some steps? These don't go anywhere. I gotta get rid of these. And to do that, I'm gonna have to get a air compressor and a, probably a 90 pound jackhammer get out here because I had to break this corner off uh, when I was redoing this wall and as you can see it's pretty thick and I had a 20 pound sledge and the hammer was just bouncing off of this so I pounded and pounded on this to no avail hence gonna have to get that jackhammer out here and I am not looking forward to that because I'm getting a little old for that nonsense Okay, another little project that's going to be coming up are these basement windows. As you can see here, they're not in very good shape and they're old. So I will need to uh, replace them. Actually, we're going to replace all of them. Some of them we're going to have to block up and make the window smaller, as I'll show you here in a minute. So as you can see, i got two windows over here side by side that are actually below grade. And you get a big heavy rain, that's a problem. Yeah, we already got a water problem in the basement. We don't need it running in the windows. 
for the problem here. So the idea here is we're going to add a layer of concrete block down there. There goes the sump pump. It's just been raining a lot. A lot of water going. The idea here is to add a real concrete block, bring it up above grade, and put some smaller windows in there. Something kind of unusual here, and it's uh, just developed in the last couple days. Uh, this door, I'll back up here so you can see the whole thing, was put in to replace that little uh, 30 inch by 6 foot 5 door that used to be here. When I put this door in, and this was an existing wall, I did have to do some reframing around it. When I put this in and hung it, it was perfectly square. And now it's not. So things like that happen. I do a little bit of work on the latch today. Seems like uh, something here moved. I don't know if it's because of all the uh, rain and moisture and humidity, but something moved here and do a little work on the latch to make it work. Don't really know what happened or why, but even on an old house, when you think everything's solid and can't move anymore because it's been here for umpteen years, stuff happens. There's a little update on the renovation house. Uh, we'll get into more detail. I'll uh, get the better camera out and do some more stuff when we get um, organized and everything. Well, maybe we'll do one of those Better Homes and Gardens staged picture videos. We'll see. So back from the renovation house and uh, in the shop with all the flies. It's raining outside and all the flies coming here to get out of the rain, I guess. Made some test shots with this. You got to see them. So that's uh, a little bit about how this DAG DJI Osmo action camera works out. I'll be using it a little more here in the future. Uh, I can take it places where it's a little more difficult to take my GH5 that I'm shooting on right now. So, got anything out of this? Appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. You ring that bell, you'll be notified when I post another video. And if you want more information about this, and no, I'm not sponsored by them. I bought everything. I did do a video about it. You can find it on my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.